Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. So a lot of you guys sent me this one in my DM and tagged me on Instagram. Uh, this video was on North American Rescue's Instagram page. Holy crap, did it get a lot of comments and people back and forth talking about no tourniquet tourniquet. So uh, it was a lot of good discussions, but a pretty cool video for an after action report. So we'll take a look at it here and fair warning, uh, there's some blood. And I'll say just because I can, this video is sponsored by Medical Gear Outfitters. You guys buying your first aid kits and supplies over there help support what we do over here. So I appreciate the support at medicalgearoutfitters.com. Damn, Bubby, you're taking it like a man now. Big old chunk. Motherfucker. Let me see. Whoa, Lord, Bubby. So, what do you guys think? No tourniquet or tourniquet? Whew, it's a big discussion. Uh, one of my favorite saying is, oh my gosh, that's a lot of blood. And at first glance, I can see your thought there. You're like, man, Skinny Mac, that is, oh my gosh, that's a lot of blood. But if you really take a look at the video, we'll kind of slow it down here. It's not pouring. Like there is a lot of blood on his arm. I get it, uh, but it's not. Doesn't appear to be gushing out, pouring out, things like that. So I'm gonna take both sides here. Uh, I'm gonna ride that fence. Uh, so you guys probably get mad at me, but I'm gonna take both sides of it. If you are a civilian responder, uh, you have basic first aid, to stop the bleed class, maybe a, a, a first care provider course, and you saw this guy. This is your buddy. He's your coworker. And you put a tourniquet on this guy, okay, done deal. It's over. All right? Um, I would have a problem with it. Uh, the data supports, you know, the tourniquet can be on for less than two hours with no problem. So if you are just an average guy, you're like, man, I've been watching skinny medic videos. That's a lot of blood. Boom, you put a tourniquet on it. Okay. But I will say, remember our first rule when it comes to hemorrhage control. It says that we apply good solid direct pressure first. So let's take a t-shirt, let's take a towel, and let's put some direct pressure to the source here and see if we can get the bleeding control. My thought process is that you probably will uh, be able to control this with good solid direct pressure. I don't think it necessarily needs a tourniquet. I would not fault you as a civilian responder going out, man, it's crazy. Uh, that's a lot of blood, but I think it can be controlled with direct pressure. So civilian responders, you slap a tourniquet on it, okay. As my professional responders, my EMTs, paramedics watch this video, I probably would hold off. I think a pressure bandage is more likely what is needed here. So for both groups, remember, apply good solid direct pressure first. If you cannot get the bleeding control, then we need to escalate and do a tourniquet. But I think a pressure bandage with some good solid direct pressure here might be the choice. Thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember the right gear and the right training.